right, this is an emotional story. I've debated for a while whether or not I talk about this. And I've just decided that I think enough people will learn enough from this that I think it's worth it. Not a lot of my family and friends listen to this podcast or watch these videos. Luckily, um, the worst day, the toughest day in my career, the most emotional day. I told you about the most stressful day in Boston. Um, the hardest day, the hardest thing I've ever done is I have basically fired two of my best friends from my company. I guess it stems from um, a mistake, some mistakes that I made. And early on, I think we gave up too much equity, brought on too many partners in the early days. When we founded our business in 2011, we brought on a partner um, for 20% equity who we thought was going to be like the law, uh, the lawyer who was going to help us with that side of it. Um, didn't work out. And luckily he just, he just left because he had other great opportunities and wasn't that into it and didn't think it was that great of an opportunity. But the hardest thing was in 2012, um, we were seniors in college and we had another friend who, um, agreed to basically come on as a partner to help us grow. He was at one of the locations that we tried to expand to. And um, we were friends with him, great guy. And he just, we decided to give him 20% equity in Storage Squad to be the, the third uh, partner. So we lived there. We lived, we lived together and worked together for a while. And um, it was going great. We were excited. We were just rah, rah, this business is going to be giant. It's going to have no problem feeding all of us. We have so many different colleges that we can go do this at. We're going to, our projections were saying that we're going to be able to be, have a $10 million business in three years. So we were building all the processes, working together. Um, and every year in those early days, we would go, our business is extremely seasonal. We do all of our work when the students move out of, um, if you want to know more about my story, listen to episode two of the podcast, but uh, basically, we do pickup and delivery for uh, college students. So when it got busy in the April, we in May we do all the pickups, and then in, in the summer, in the fall, we do all the deliveries. Rest of the year, not a whole lot going on except for planning and strategically building out the processes in the business. Well, we were in every year. We went down to uh, Florida and we rented a, a little modest place. It was actually from my dad, who had a very modest condo on the Panhandle of Florida in Destin, um, and we'd stay there for a month and just work and work and work and work. We'd wake up every day and work and then we'd go to happy hour and we'd come back and work. And um, it was an amazing time for us building that business. But the three of us went on this trip and it's right about that beginning of that trip, a month long trip planned in, in Destin, Florida, that we realized that it just wasn't working, that this third partner wasn't, we weren't getting along that well. We were clashing. We didn't feel that he was able to add a ton of value to the business. And this is, this is one of my best friends. This is somebody that I was hanging out with all the time in college, um, a ton in common with. And Danny and I decided that we needed to try to, that we had made a mistake bringing this, per, this partner on and that we needed to try to figure something out going forward and how are we going to handle all this? Um, emotions were running high and there were many arguments about processes and about what people are doing and about what people are bringing to the table. And this is all while we're living together in a two bedroom apartment, right? One, literally two of us are sharing a room. One of us is sleep, sleeping on a sleep out, a pull out couch in, in the main room of this condo. Um, so eventually it all kind of boiled over and we had to have a, a plan in place. Danny and I had to find a way to buy this partner out, get this partner out of the business. And, um, this person had turned down, it, it was so hard because this person had turned down a significant paycheck and a great job and a great opportunity to come join us out of college full time to help us grow this business. And we'd been at it for about five months. We'd been at it for about five months. Um, so we didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. Do we just get mad and say F off and see you later? 
um, because that's what we kind of part of us wanted to do. But the other part of us realized that we had to be mature and we had to be fair and we had to do it in the most mature, most respectable way possible. So we basically schemed and had a had a plan, like left left the condo together on a run and uh, made a plan of what we were going to do. And we were going to sit down at the table and tell them that it wasn't working and that we needed to figure something out. And when we did that, when we sat down at the table, it was probably about 7 p.m. It was dark outside. Um, I remember it so vividly. I mean, we've all been in relationships where we break up with somebody or somebody breaks up with us. And, you know, that's pretty emotional. But this was somebody's life and career and earning and their ability to support themselves that was on the line here. And we had made some promises. We had definitely overinflated the opportunity. We had definitely been over excited about the possibilities with the company and what we were all going to do and how much money we were all going to make and how awesome it was all going to be. And um, here we were saying, okay, you're not a good fit. You're not doing enough for the business. You're not adding enough value. You're fired. We want to buy you out of the business. But this person owned on paper, a signed contract owned 20% of the company. Um, he was, we said, we said those things and he was very upset, mad, angry, um, disappointed in us, disappointed in me as his, one of his best friends. And it didn't go well at all. It didn't go well. Um, we tried our best to be mature about it. Um, we had a long talk followed by a meeting, followed by him saying that he wanted to be bought out uh, for 30, 30 grand. He wanted $30,000, which w- was just compensation for his time as if he was an employee for five months, which was incredibly fair, an incredibly fair offer, except we didn't have any money. We didn't have any money at all. We were in the early days of basically trying to put down deposits on warehouses. Um, we had had a moderately profitable previous year, but we all had student loans and things that we needed to take care of and, and uh, we needed to live, feed ourselves. So it was a back and forth negoci- no, negotiation and eventually we came to $20,000 that we paid, just gave him. We wrote him a check for $20,000. This was in our second year of doing business. We had, I think we had $23,000 in the bank when we wrote that check. And this was right before our busy season, which was really hard, really tough. Um, but fair, it was fair. We didn't feel bad about him ripping us off. We actually felt extremely grateful that he was willing to basically sell back his 20% stake in, in the business for uh, $20,000 you know, 20% stake in the business now, uh, a few years later is, um, you know, several hundred thousand dollars. So it was the hardest thing I've ever done. I had to take my best friend, put him, get in a car, drive him to the nearest airport and put him on an airplane to talk to him very little from there on, talk to him very little. I think it all could have been avoided with um, not (laughs) bringing on the partner that I didn't know for sure was going to be able to add a value or get get along or help us grow. Um, To have a plan for the equity, maybe a vesting schedule. Um, It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Made me better, made me stronger. I was 23 years old when that happened. Made me really think through a lot of the future decisions that I made in business. So I hope this helps some one of you out there just realize that uh, stuff's not going to be easy. That was my hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life right there.